Damn, I didn't expect you to go that <laughs> that much of a jump. <laughs> it, the, the mental game is everything. So if you tell yourself, like, you go up to the bar, bench, squat, deadlift, whatever it is, you tell yourself, like, there's 500 pounds on the bar. If you know there's X amount of weight, you get that number stuck in your head, and you're like, oh, shit, that's fucking heavy. Like, that's, yeah. that's going to suck. That's going to be hard. But if you don't know what the weight is and you just go up and lift, it's just muscle memory at that point. Then yeah. it's just technique, strength, and everything that you yeah. know and practice is just now going into motion. Like on, on meat day, it's it's nice, especially if you have a good handler that knows what he's doing, because you're you're lifting in kilos, you're lifting in colored plates. Yeah. So you go up to the bar and you just see colors. Uh, you like our American brains, at least mine, can't equate like, oh, there's three reds, a yellow, and a green, and that's uh, Yeah, I'm just like, oh, there's kilo. colors on the bar. Alright, cool. Boom, and it's done. Fucking interesting. Yeah, the mental game is everything. It's everything. You tell yourself it's gonna suck, it's gonna suck. You tell yourself it's gonna move, it's gonna move. Good. One more set of four this way. Okay, now you see why it's so important for like warm-ups, back-down sets, anything you do in practice to be just like a comp lift. So on bench, pause, fucking yeah. every, let it come to a complete stop yeah. every single time. Yep. Yeah. Because when you get that, that max effort, that heavy attempt. It's just another the, lift. The, what you do in practice is, is going to take over. So what you know, what you do every single day, so if you touch and go on bench every single time you lift, you're going to do that on meet day. Right. Or do that on comp day when it matters most. Um, if you get used to comp lifts in your practice, in your training, that transitions over to meet day 100%. Then yeah. it's just muscle memory. It's technique. It's like I've said it before. Everything you do in training happens on meet day. It all goes together. Yeah.
What's the rub? So, bandage, V bar push down. Okay. And did. Let's go until we die. First one to drop. That's the loser. All right. Easy peasy. I feel like I'm already at a disadvantage for numerous reasons. Well, you already warmed up. I'm a little too warm. Three, two, one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bang! Come on. I'm already at 20, come on. <laughs> You know, you've got this height advantage. <laughs> Shit. All right, I hit 30. Where are you at? God, I don't even know. <laughs> oh. Come on, give me 10 more. Let's go. Two. Push. Push. Come on. Come on. Push. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh, I'm tougher to look. Yeah, my uh, my coach has been programming the end of like my bench days. Uh, one by a hundred. One by a hundred. Yes. So you got to finish it in as few as sets possible. So I've been doing like thirty to forty, and trying to go for like twenty, thirty, twenty, whatever. Yeah, it's it hadn't been fun. <laughs> yes. so, I mean, it's. It's true hypertrophy at this point. I mean, you're just forcing blood into the muscle constantly over and over again with, you know, resistance, no real weight. Yeah. So you can, you know, risk of injury is super low. So I can do very, very high reps, force blood into the muscle, just keep pumping, keep pumping. Worst case scenario, my range of motion goes to shit. It's just like, uh, yeah. okay, I take a little break. 30 seconds later, I'm recovered enough to get back into another set of 20, 30, whatever the case may be. Well, and as the, as the band elongates, it's getting, getting, yeah, so as it's getting more taunt. As you're pushing down, that's technically more weight, more resistance. You're pushing, easing back up into it, more resistance, a little easier. So it's a lot, it's a lot better than, let's say, just putting, putting the V-bar on a cable, putting 50 pounds on there, okay? Because that's 50 pounds the whole time, no matter what you're doing. Yeah. Depending on the color of the band, it could go from you know 10 pounds at the top to 60, 70 at the bottom, back to 10 again. So you're kind of playing with the weight, helping your body go through the motion a little easier. Which is why they're good. Good today, my man. I appreciate it, man. Nice appreciate you. Appreciate you. For sure, for sure. Obviously, today was the first bench that I've shown here on the powerlifting vlog, and. Um, I care so much more about how the actual lift goes. Like, the number is cool, but <clears throat> how does it actually move? Does the bar move really quickly? I flew through it. It looks really good. Um, and not by way of, like, I want to look good. It's I want to perform well. And I find myself caring so much more about that than the actual weight now. So the 220... Or 220. The 200 uh, that I did today is the most that I've lifted with Josh. Um, 225 is the most ever. When I was true bodybuilding, it probably looked awful. The form was terrible. I mean, just anyway, so I, I don't even really want to count that. But <clears throat> it's just interesting to see me getting very critical and particular. I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm still learning. But like the things that I am sort of aware of, I want to make sure I'm doing correctly or as efficiently as possible every single time because that reduces your, your risk of injury. Um, and it's going to help you progress. It's going to help you get stronger. Um, so that cool is really, really, that cool. That part is very, very cool. As always, thank you, Josh, for the lifting, brother. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the programming. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. This was the first this is the first bench day, and I'll be honest with you, I feel like 
bench is less exciting than a deadlift day. You know, I, I think there's just, there's more of an animalistic piece to deadlifting. So I want to know what you think about it. How was this? How was the vlog on benching? You don't have to be perfect at this uh, benching thing. Just try to be better than yesterday. Every day.